If you have a business or an organization that regularly hosts upcoming events, you should have up-to-date information about those events on your website. Or if you have a directory for businesses that regularly host events, it's a great idea to give your listing owners the option to feature those upcoming events on your directory. The free events add-on for the GeoDirectory plugin can help you out in both those situations. It connects seamlessly to your existing GeoDirectory listings, but can also function as a standalone events calendar for a regular website. In this video, I'll show you how to set up those plugins to create an event calendar for your WordPress website. Let's get started. Okay, we are starting off in your WordPress dashboard. And the first thing we're gonna do is install the plugins we need. So go to plugins and then add new plugin. And up here, we are going to search for GeoDirectory. And then you're going to see GeoDirectory by iCode and then click install now. And then click activate. And then it opens up a setup wizard. Now I'm not gonna go too much in detail about the GeoDirectory setup. I do have videos that show you how to do this part and I will link them in the description below. But for now, we'll just put skip this step here, skip this step again. And then I would keep iCode connect uh, checked here. But I personally don't like Ninja Forms, so I would not install that. And I'm also not gonna install Users WP, but you can if that's something you use. And then I'm gonna click Install. And then next I'm gonna click Continue. I'm not gonna import any of the demo data, so I'm gonna click Skip this step. I'm gonna allow them to collect diagnostic data to make the plugin better. And then I'm gonna click Return to the WordPress dashboard. Now let's install the events plugin. So go to plugins again and add new plugin. Search for GeoDirectory again. And then we should have events calendar for GeoDirectory right here. So we're going to click install now. And then we're going to click activate. And now you're going to notice over here, right here, um, on the left hand side, we have two new custom post types, one called places and one called events, and they should be right on top of the new GeoDirectory link you also have here. And if you want to see where to change the general settings for the events, go to GeoDirectory and then go to settings. And then click the events tab right there. And this is where all your event settings are. You can click show advanced to show more, but they should be fine. If not, go ahead and change what you need to change and then click save changes. Next, let me show you how to customize your events form. To do that, go to events and then go to settings. And then on your custom fields tab, when that's selected, you're gonna see this. Now, this is how this works. You have an event listing and on that listing, you're gonna want different information about that event. For example, the date, the address, maybe social media links, maybe some images. So to get that information on the event listing, either you or your listing owner, if you allow them to do it themselves, has to fill out a form inputting that information. This is where you can make changes to that form to decide what shows up on the listing. So for example, if you want the option for some listings to be featured, you're gonna wanna go ahead and scroll down and choose the featured option and then click save to add that onto the listing form. Or if you wanna add the cost of the event, maybe you'd like to add a price option, save that when you're done. Or maybe you want to add a link to like a Facebook event. You could just click Facebook and then click save. I do have a video that goes more in depth into the GeoDirectory custom fields and I'll link that in the description below. Now let me show you how to make an actual event. So go ahead and under events on the left side here, go ahead and click add new, and then give your event a name here. And then right here is where you're gonna wanna put the event description. I'm just gonna paste in some dummy text. And then down here is where you're gonna put the event information. So first thing is you can do this as a recurring event. GeoDirectory has that option. So if you wanna do that, you would just click yes here. And then more options show up about the event duration and how often it repeats. So you would first wanna put the event start date, how long it lasts, 
and how often it repeats. So if say you wanted to repeat every week on a Tuesday, you would keep that as one and then you would put for recurring type weeks and then you would go ahead and select Tuesday. And then you can set this to either stop after a certain number of occurrences or after a certain date. So I'm going to go ahead and choose after a certain date and then uh, pick something randomly way later. And you can either set a start time and an end time or you can click all day and then that'll take away the time option. And every event needs a category. So you could leave it at the default uncategorized option, but you probably want to add categories so you can organize your website better. So to do that, you would want to create some event categories, which you would under here, under events. And then when you go to this page, you'll have an option to add a new event category. This works just like blog posts, so you would want to name it and then save it after here by clicking add new event category. And then on this page, before it shows up, you're going to have to save it and refresh it. But then it will show up down here as another option on categories. Next, you want to put the event address, the country, the region. For the United States, it's probably the state, the city right here, and then the zip code. And then click set address on map. And then when you scroll down here, you're going to see the extra options we added when we edited the event field. So you could mark this featured if you wanted to set a price and then put a Facebook event link right here. Now, if you scroll back up, you will see an option to add in some event tags, which you might want to use for organization purposes. If you want to organize your website with events that are in different categories, that's what would tags would be really good for. And this is also where you would add event photos under event attachments right here. When you're done, go ahead and click publish. And then you could click the link right here to view the event. There you go. You got the event up. Now this doesn't look as nice as it could be. I feel like we can do much better with the design, which we will. But first I want to show you how to add the event calendar onto your site. So hover over your name on the top left and then go to dashboard and then go to pages, add new page. And we're going to call this event calendar. Now there are a couple different ways you can add the event calendar. In this tutorial, I'm going to lean really heavy on Elementor. And I do suggest Elementor for your GeoDirectory website because it is really just so easy to work with. But if you're not using Elementor, you do still have the GeoDirectory widgets as blocks. So you can click that and then search GD. And then you're going to see a bunch of GeoDirectory widgets pop up. So we're going to search GD event and then GD events calendar pops up. So we're going to click that. And then go ahead and click publish, publish again, and then view the page. So there you go. There's your event calendar. And then you can click through on that date to see the events for that date. Now I'm going to go back to the event calendar page and that is the event calendar widget. So you do have an option for just a widget, but you can also display the listings in other ways and you can have an easier time making it look much nicer with Elementor. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Go ahead and edit the page and then click edit with Elementor. It's asking you if you want to leave the site, go ahead and say yes. And now we can use Elementor widgets to style this page. So go ahead and close out of this. And then I'm going to first, if we want to do the event calendar still, we can search for event calendar and put it right on here on the site. And there you go. There's the event calendar. So what I like doing and what's an option for you is to put the event calendar so people can see the events in a calendar form, but then to also list the events. So go ahead and go to your widgets. And then go ahead and let's just only open the geo directory widgets. And now these are various things that we could put on this page. That's going to be useful for us. But specifically what I'm looking for here is GD listings. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to grab that and I'm going to pull that over and I'm going to put that under the event calendar. And then we're going to want to make some changes. So our events show up here. 
So under filters, we are going to choose for the default post type instead of it being places, we're going to switch it to events. And if you only wanted this to show certain categories, you would choose that category here, which could be useful, very useful when you're building your website. If you got a huge directory site, maybe you only want to show certain categories of events on certain pages. So you'd pick that here. You also have the option to filter by tag and you can show if the events are upcoming and or past or at certain dates. There's lots of ways that you can customize this here. You also have some design options, like if you want um, more columns or less columns, you could do that here. If you want to show the view all link, you have an option. I'm not going to go through everything on here because all of this stuff is very easy to figure out what's going on here. And if not, remember GeoDirectory has a lot of documentation. They have support and you can also ask questions on this video in the comments if you have them. If you click here, you can see card design options and here you choose a template for this card design. And I'm going to show you how to do that next, but let's go ahead and click update first. And then we can view the page. And remember we see multiple events here because it's a recurring event. So it has multiple days to it. Now to style each of these event listings on this page, this is um, an archive template is what it's called with GeoDirectory. Now by default, it takes it from these pages, right? Right here. So this is the archive item. So if we go to edit this, we can see that this is how that's laid out. And then to make changes, you would just make sure it's selected and then you can make changes um, on the settings over here on the left. So this is definitely an option for you. But personally, like I said, I prefer to work with Elementor. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this and I'm just gonna just leave because I don't want any of my changes to be saved. I'm gonna go to Elementor templates under Elementor and I'm gonna go to theme builder. And I'm gonna go to GD archive item and I'm gonna click add new. And the easiest thing to do here is to start with a pre-made template and then edit it from there. So I'm just gonna pick this one and click insert. And I'm gonna click apply. And then you can edit this just like you would edit any Elementor template. I'm not gonna go all into that in this video. I do have a Elementor tutorial that I will link in the description below. But just to show you guys that this for sure is going to, um, have it's we're going to show the right thing like we're editing the right thing here i'm just going to put test here and then i'm going to hit publish and then we don't have to add a condition for this template we're just going to click save and close and now if we exit out of here and then we see it's called uh, elementor gd archive item 1795 so we can note the name of that then when we go back to our event calendar page and we edit it with Elementor, we can select this GD listings widget again. And then for card design, for archive template type, we can go to Elementor skin. And then we can choose under archive item Elementor skin, the one we just did. And then go ahead and click update. And then let's view the page. And we can see that under test event, it says test, so it is pulling from the right template. Now that we styled the event calendar, let me show you how to style a single event. So go ahead and head back to your dashboard. And we're gonna style this page as an Elementor template also. So under Elementor, under templates, go back to theme builder and then click GD single, and then click add new. And then again, it's way easier to start this from the GeoDirectory template that's available. So just click insert. Now you do wanna note that GeoDirectory at its base is a directory plugin for business listings. So this template is made specifically aimed for business listings. Though it will work for events immediately you probably want to add some extra stuff that's specific to events. So to do that, click into widgets. And again, let's hide all this and only see the geo directory widgets. 
and I'm going to scroll down all the way to the end. Now, specifically something you're going to want to put on here is event schedules. And this is because when it's a recurring event, like the test event we did, it's cool that it'll show all the other days the event is, which is super useful for your website users. But you can really add almost any widget here, any widget that makes sense, and it'll show up on the listing page. So for example, we did add that extra listing for the price. So if we wanted to put that on the site, we would take this dynamic content widget and then we could choose what field we'd want it to be. So we could put price and then the price will show up there. You probably want this to, you know, say price. Let's go ahead and put a heading. So there we go, we could have that say price. And then we could also put stuff on the contact info here. So if we wanted to add the price here, we could just click add item. And then we can put the icon as maybe a dollar sign. And then for text, we could click dynamic tags. Now I'm not quite sure if this is available in the free version of Elementor you might need the pro version of Elementor to do this. But the pro version is really, really affordable and really worth it. So I would suggest it if you don't have it, but if you do, you can scroll down and choose GD field and then click the little wrench icon next to it to do the settings. And under key, we want it to say price. And then when we're done here, we can go ahead and click publish. Now we do wanna add a condition here, especially if you already have listings. So I would do this include events. So you're only using this layout for event listings and then click save and close. And what I did here is I actually put the event on another tab so we could see that when it refreshes, it changes the design. And it looks like the price worked here and we have the schedule under that also, but the price didn't work here. And then when I pop in here, I see that it says it wants us to use the input, to use the input value of the field. So let me go ahead and I will type that in right here. And then after that's done, we can save that and then we'll refresh and see if that worked. And it did, so that's perfect. And there we go. Now you know how to set up an events website for your WordPress website using the free GeoDirectory events plugin. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check my description for a free download for my nine step website roadmap to help you build your own website without missing a step from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.